Hello everyone and welcome back to COM121 Introduction to Mass Media. Professor Harris here and today I'm going to talk you through how to do assignment 2 and this will be very similar to the subsequent assignments that follow after. So that'll be assignment 3 and assignment 4. But this one is the knowledge composite. The first step is obviously compiling your assets and choosing which media you feel like has communicated knowledge and truth to you, media that you've truly learned from and exemplify um, the communication or transmission of knowledge. So for mine at three, I've chosen lynda.com, Skillshare, and YouTube. Um, YouTube is the one I'm going to highlight. I've learned so much from YouTube over the years. Um, and in your composites and in mine today, we'll see if I end up adding it, I have a few uh, images, or I guess you could say screenshots, of YouTube channels that I've actually learned a lot from. And so if, if you get into it and you say, oh, I want to pick Instagram or TikTok, whatever it might be, um, you can also include the handles if you want to share that information and discuss that in your three to five paragraphs as well. But let's jump here into Adobe Express real quick. One thing I wanted to point out about Adobe Express is that your previous projects will show up down here at the bottom for some reason. I don't know why it works this way. It's, it's, to me, it's counterintuitive. But sometimes you'll load up the page and you'll be looking at it and you'll go, where are my projects? They won't appear and then all of a sudden they will appear and then they'll go away. If you put your mouse down there, they'll appear again. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for your old projects. All right, so let's start this project today by hitting this little plus button. And I'm going to choose 9x16 portrait today for this. I'm going to backspace here from that, head back to my templates, and I'm going to search shapes. And it's actually this coffee shop uh, signage I'm going to use for my project. I'm going to delete these assets. First, I'm going to select them because I don't actually need them. I'll select this as well. Delete. Cool. Now, I'm more interested in these images. And I need three, so I'm going to select both of these, shrink them down real quick, maybe a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to duplicate this one by hitting Command-C and then Command-V or Control-C, Control-V. That's going to make a duplicate right on top of the other one, and I can pull this down to the bottom. Now let's say you made a composite and uh, it's layered like this, but you want maybe this orange image to be above this blue one. On the side here, these layers, you can just simply drag this one to the top and then now it will be above the bottom image. Sweet. Um, so for my composite today, one of the things I'm going to do to set my YouTube apart is I am going to have this above the other two visually. So I'm communicating that I've chosen YouTube, again, by the arrangement of my, my canvas here. Cool. So I'm going to increase the size of this. And you know, let's select all three. I'll increase the size, and then I'm going to swap out these images. Come over to replace, upload, we'll go Linda. Select this one, replace, upload, YouTube. And replace, upload, Skillshare. Sweet. All right, now, as you can see, there's some problems here. My YouTube play symbol isn't quite centered on my circular cropped image. My Skillshare isn't quite centered either. And Linda has some letters at the bottom because it does say lynda.com. So let's move these apart from each other and figure out how to center this up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to align these all on the left side. And that's going to help me find the center of the image. Um, for this, I think what I need to do is double click it. And I'm going to increase the size of the Linda logo. And... See if that helps me. No, it didn't move that. Let's see here. Okay, getting better. That's increasing the size of the crop circle. Let's just go original for now and see if I can't um, do a circular crop, but then center it. Where's the set? There we go. That's the old center. I want the new center. Come on. Ba, ba, ba. We'll just go for that with that for now. Um, and then I'll increase and decrease the size on that as I go. All right, sweet. Ignore this pink line that's running through my screen. All right, let's fix the YouTube logo now. 
Um, and we'll do that just by sliding the logo itself, center, there's that. And Skillshare as well, we'll adjust that. Sweet, all right, now we got all three circles are looking much better. I'm gonna slide them to the left because I actually do want to put text there. I'm gonna make my YouTube symbol much bigger. And I'll actually probably offset these together to the left side of my canvas a little bit. This one's going to go back a little bit more. Uh-oh, you can see lynda.com's peeking out at the bottom there. We don't want that, so... Uh, something like that, maybe. It helps to be perfectionist with these projects because... It's good when they look good. All right, let's add some text on the right side here. I'm going to add the word knowledge because I am basic. All right. And then let's find a font that we actually like. Recommended you all. Why are the cool ones always premium? That stinks. All right, sweet. I found a font that I like and I blown it up a lot with my font selection and I'm going to rotate it in place here on the side knowledge cool all right now I'm looking into maybe changing this background color to something else and or framing it in so look for other media elements that might help me do that okay after quite a bit of time I finally found a border that I actually like I'm going to quickly make a duplicate of it and then I'm going to move this to my top corner and pull this down to cover my top bottom and left edge and you should be able to squish this but it doesn't seem to be working for me for some reason with at least this shape so what I'll do is I'm going to use I'll throw this to the back real quick then I grab this and I'll put this in the upper left corner and draw it this way until it meets flush at the bottom Sweet. There we go. I'm going to move this also to the bottom so I can access these lower assets. I'm going to move that to the right a little bit so it's not uh, bleeding into. And there we go. I think this is uh, a decent start um, to my knowledge composite. I'd like to see yours strive for more creativity. Mine's a little bit bland, but it's what I can do with the time constraints that I have. I hope you've got a better idea of what I'm looking for with this assignment. Again, um, and I, I hope I've reinforced this enough that my main selection here and the point I'm trying to make is that YouTube is my main media. Um, and perhaps I need to make this a little bit bigger, honestly, to, uh, to better communicate that. I want yours to be as clear as you can get it. You know, this is my selection for what uh, I think I've learned the most from or what I believe, which platform I believe communicates knowledge and truth. So um, I hope with that, uh, you guys um, can get yours done. Let me finish up here by hitting download. And then again, we want to choose JPG and we'll hit download and then uh, put this on my desktop. And go from there, we can then upload it onto Canvas. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.